Hello everybody, this is Roman, and this might look familiar. So this was something that was just built. You saw a nice little uh, walkthrough on, you know, kind of all the different, well not a walkthrough, but you know, the process, the everything going through, people working together, and uh, seeing this thing actually get put, built. And what I wanted to do is do a little, take a look at the details. Some of the things you might not know exist about it. Um, so this is, of course, um, the newest addition um, on the, onto Main Street here. Uh, obviously, just right off there, you can see the castle in the background, so you can see where it's located, not too far away. Um, feel free to stop by and visit. Um, but just kind of looking at it, we've got a nice little, nice little grassy area in the beginning, in the front. I, I really like this. There's a willow tree. Um, took this willow tree forever to be made forever i mean grown clearly grown not crafted at all um look at the little pond let's see if we see oh what's what's this get a little jump in here ah fresh tuna oh there's some fishes in here and oh there's a swammy all right so apparently you can get swam I, okay i don't really know how i feel about that now knowing that apparently this is being used to so, hmm. I mean, it's, it's natural, so I guess it's okay if it comes from here. I, I, you know what? We'll just we'll just edit that part out. There's no swammies. Just blur it. Okay. There's no swammies. Um, let's see. Looking at the outside. Now, for the most part, this was meant to kind of blend in a little bit. Um, then it sort of starts to not blend in when we have bright quartz. Um, yeah, here's the thing. Uh, quartz still looks really, really nice. Like, I'm not going to lie. I know, I mean, those cloud district people, you know, they, they are onto something up there. So this is a... Mm, it's, it's, it's still a good accent piece. I don't want it like a whole thing. I mean, that's just too much quartz. But, you know, little, little accent pieces? Yeah. It's not gonna do not it's gonna go well. Um of course we have a little modified onk and brick as uh as one would expect. Uh, little benches in the front. And what is hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop the tour. What what is what is this? Oh no. I think they're what a clownism Bible. Always bring an ice cream sandwich. Never bring a mask. Have a red nose. Atta attacked elderly. Yeah. You know what? Look at these clowns. Apparently they're assaulting our old people. God, just let them die on their own. Uh, walruses are anti-clown and should be avoided at all costs. Interesting. Clowns don't like walruses. All right. Uh, never ask about rule about seven. All clowns shall be clean. Okay, that's good. Uh, bathe in the blood of non-believers. Uh, that's good. Um, approach toddlers about joining clownism. Kidnap if they say no. Once you join, you can't leave. Offerings. You must have experience in vector calculus to join. Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> Praise the Lord of Clowns, Lord Roman. The great clown above is the Lord of Clowns. Wait. Thought I was the Lord of Clowns. Praise the Lord of Clowns, Lord Roman. The great clown above. Okay. Now, if you're looking at the inside, this might look eerily familiar. Hmm. Is there, is there anything? Clowns in Bible? Oh, God, apparently I'm the Lord of Clowns. Now, I have definitely had a strict anti-clown policy, so you might have noticed if you were a clown, uh, and I recognized you as a clown, that it was possible you, you might die. Um, now I find out I'm the Lord of Clowns, and I'm not really sure how to process this information just yet. <sighs> they apparently built a church right next to my church. Zoning rules kind of do allow this. We don't have a church per plot area limitation. Uh, I, all right, I, you know, 
I don't even I don't even want to deal with this right now. Stupid clowns. Um, so one thing that's really cool is it's a church. Obviously, it's an old ancient church that's has catacombs. Ooh, spooky. So in these catacombs. Well, first, let's see. Oh, that's an interesting looking head. Here lies Charlie, who made this possible by choosing himself over friends and family. So that's right. So Charlie wanted to have his identity back and not be having a arrest warrant. So he decided to blow up all of his friends and family. Um, what I thought was fitting is if we could kind of let's see. Notice here we have uh, we have some on display. Uh, oh, look, it's Brickton's own. Look, that's, that's uh, Captain. And that's Ping. Aww. So, yeah, they, they sort of died when Charlie blew up that building. Um, I mean, here's the thing. Maybe I planted the explosives. Maybe I put the fuse in front of him. But he's the one who hit the switch. So, really, there's no blood on my hands. I'm sleeping good at night. Uh, but, no, this is nice. They're, they're able to stare at each other in, in the afterlife. Oh, um, let's see. We got some more people. Uh, we got others. I don't know the names. For a lot of okay, I know this one just because it's Gina and she's bald. Oh, oh, I know what we'll do. Hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, wait, where is it? Where is it? How else? Oh, will this work? Okay, that won't. Hmm. All right. Scratch that plan. All right. Uh, let's see. That's... Uh, I want to say that's title. Um, all right. Let's... Oh, man. Where's, where's that? Where, where's... I, okay. We get it. It's spooky. We'll just pretend... Okay, really? Why can I not... Oh, what's that? Okay, there we go. Just pretend it's still spooky. Uh, let's see. There are some other... What is this? Science... Science's Fresh Lemony Aid. Ten gold copper per drink. <sighs> There's a lemonade stand. Uh, uh, that's Bryce... Oh, wait. Here lies Bryce Polk's wife and love of his life. Wait. Isn't this Bryce, though? I thought that was Bryce. Uh, clearly, that's... Batman and his niece. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Um, that's a walrus. Uh, crewman number three. A pirate. An angry owl. Uh, I think that's the Terminator from when he loses part of the eye and the other one's red. Uh, what else do we got here? Let's see. A lot, of, a lot of dead people here. Aw, that looks like a young child about to set off in the world to make a name for himself and <sighs> finds out he gets blown up in a bar. Man. All right, so, oh, oh, hey, look at that. So it's it's meth. Aw, hey, meth. Guess you don't have to worry about, you know, slowly walking anywhere because you're gone. See you, buddy. Uh, no, these are the catacombs. I, I love the design. Obviously, since it's ancient, I mean, there's cobwebs, so clearly you know that this wasn't just built. Um, this was obviously old. It's leaky. These are all indications of things that are old. Super leaky. Um, but you know what? Good job, Charlie. You're the reason this is here, because you didn't want to just take the hit for your team. Just turn yourself in. Main Street District Church. Main. No, 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 no. Bad, bad sign. All right, this is not the Main Street District. That was part of the deal. This is okay. So since Main Street's not a district, they're obviously a place. Main Street's a street. I'm not going to say that they're not, but I don't want then other districts to think they can't have their own Main Street. Just because you have one Main Street doesn't mean it's then taken off across the board off the world. No. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, so, Main, Main Street, wait, Main, Main Street, St 
street church of Roman. There we go. So they are the main main street street. Yeah, I like it. It flows. All right, let's take a look at the inside. So we walk in. We are presented with three choices. Left, right, and forward. Choose your adventure. Oh, you chose right. Okay, going to the right. You have entered a new room. The room appears to have seating on both sides and an empty balcony. Okay. So this appears to be... Oh, this is like the, uh, you know, like the box seats. So, yeah, when you go to, you know, fancy play or something, you don't want to sit, you know, next to common folk. You get the box seats. So you're able to watch up here and take a look at, uh, you know, the sermon. Okay, I like this. Um, I'm going to suspect it's very similar on this side. Uh, suspicion confirmed. Very, whoa, wait, I feel like, okay, that seems a little dangerous. All right, uh, nice, nice lighting in here. Okay, we've, we've exhausted those options. We're now going forward. All right, so we got our pew seating. A uh, little, little onk display up there, looks good. I like the framing of the yellow. Uh, not going all super crazy and trying to do a whole background. Just nice nice and simple. I, I really did like the overall design of this. Um, I like a little, little waterfall. It's very relaxing. Uh, it will probably make people want to pee very often. Like if they're waiting in church and you just hear running water. It's like, I, excuse me, excuse me, gotta, gotta go. Um, ah, here's something that's really cool. So, we have these little rooms back here. And you're like, what are these rooms for? Well, it's very clear what these are for, because you enter this room. Oh wait, let's. There's no sign. Okay, there's no signs. We'll we'll fix that. Um, this is a confession booth, and you're just like, oh, well, it doesn't look into anything, and it's like you're right, because there is some special technology that we were able to introduce in this church. So, for example, I'm ready to confess. I take my seat. I then hit the switch. That switch then goes ahead. And alerts. Over here. <gasps> Ta-da! Boom. Like, oh, someone is there, is ready for the confession. And they're able to, uh, you know, communicate through there. Um, the exact how the communication part works, uh, we're still working on that. So right now, um, it is essentially yelling. Uh, we're really going to hope there's a breakthrough that will allow us to then uh, not yell where everyone can hear us uh, because you are confessing things and it may not be things that you want everyone around to hear. But first things first, we got the light thing going on. So, boom, they turn off the light or they hit the switch, light comes on, they know to start yelling. So they see the light, it's like, tell me how you have sinned. They're like, I ran over someone's dog. You're like, oh, God, why would you do that? Okay, that, and I don't know what kind of penises look at out there. Uh, maybe shovel seven sidewalks. I like that. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're yelling. It's it's not, again, not perfect. Uh, work in progress. Work in progress. Uh, but, yeah, look at this. We've got a little, little floor design going on here. Um, nice little pulpit. Beautiful little candelabras. Uh, I love the ceiling design. Little dark spruce is looks. It's just it's clean. That's I just the best way to say it. Um, just looks clean. Uh, little flowers inside. Candles, of course. Um, no, no. Very proud to be associated with this church. Um, that doesn't mean that the other churches out there. Uh, I'm not proud of them. It's just one of those. This was a uh, fun little thing that came up uh, thanks to someone needing a favor. And in the meantime, I was able to uh, nullify a district. So again, this isn't anything against Main Street as a district. It's just us all finally being honest and realizing Main Street's not a district. It's a street. So we now have the new fancy Main Main Street Street which clearly identifies them as only a street and not a district. And this is, of course, the main Main Street Street Church of Roman, uh, which you can find within distance of the castle, which 
it's foggy so you can't see but i promise you it's out there so swing by take a look um hopefully you enjoy it and uh who knows where something may pop up next i can promise you it won't be in main street or sorry on the main main street street yeah so not gonna happen all right thanks for watching